Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW. I'm in the shop today after cleaning all week um, and th rethinking of the way I listen to my music while I'm working. Uh, so in the past what I've done in my shop is I set up my computer, which I have access to here, and I would load up Pandora and I would listen to my music and which is in most cases a pretty good. Now I've connected the computer to the home theater system. So when I kick this on, it actually has some large speakers. Okay, all right, so um, that was my routine. And because there were some big subwoofers and lots of speakers, I'd crank it right up, the whole house would be shaking. And it was loud enough that when I had tools running, I could kind of sort of hear it, um, you know, in the background a little bit. The problem is, is that, you know, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, so I shoot video. So a lot of times what's happening is, is I'm getting in the groove, I'm making, doing my woodworking, I got my board set up or whatever I'm doing, and I got to film it. So that means I got to stop and, in this particular case, come over to the computer and pause it um, and then grab the camera, do my recording. And, you know, it's a solution is like, there's got to be a better way of doing it. Um, and a lot of times I want to have music just for a small bit of period while I'm setting up a shot and then I want to pause it and running back and forth has been kind of a pain in the butt going to the computer and coming back. So I think I've come up with a good solution and uh, it's a really low cost solution and has a little bit of flexibility. Let me show you. I've got my Amazon Echo upstairs. Now if anyone's not familiar with Amazon Echo, the Echo is sort of like Siri for the house except this is Alexa. How are you doing? I'm great. I hope you are too. I am. But anyways, I'll use it for um, playing my Pandora or my Amazon music. Uh, I use it uh, for things like converting Alexa. What is 1.7 millimeters into inches? 1.7 millimeters is 0 0.07 inches. So if I'm converting things or if I'm yelling up, Alexa, stop playing Pandora. You know, I figure there's going to be a better way of getting one down there. So instead of investing the $170 or $180 on another one for the basement, uh, Amazon came out with a great solution. Uh, and, well, let me show you. So they came up with the Echo Dot. It's a small hockey puck sized version of the Amazon Echo. And it will do all of the things that the large Echo will do, with the exception of it doesn't have a large speaker with a subwoofer. So, in most cases, what you'll want to do is have attached to it one of these uh, Bluetooth speakers. Now, in this particular case, um, you can see it. It's the aunts. Hello. <laughs> That's uh. Uh, when you first plug in the Echo, that's what it does. So for safety reasons, I don't want to ruin this thing, even though these were only about $50 at full price. Now, I bought mine. It was like $40 on sale that weekend, and I noticed that they'll do, like if you order more than two or three, you get a discount, but they'll always run little promotions on these with Amazon. But I don't want to ruin the thing, and I don't want to hit it with spray paint, so I'm figuring mounting it on the wall would make the most sense. But really, I like this idea. Very simplistic. Basically, just a simple bracket. I'll mount that bracket on the wall, it looks like, and hang it from here. And with some cord management, I think that's the, the best. So let's go ahead and mount this on the wall here and uh, see if that'll work out well for us. While designing the shop, I put an outlet up high for uh, lights, but I really don't use it. So I thought this is a perfect place to put the adapters for the uh, the Echo. And I will run these cords down and organize them. So I wanted a little docking station so I have a place to mount this on the wall. So I just got out some plywood and made this little triangular shape so I'm able to put a couple dowels in there and make it stable. Uh, after cutting it out on the bandsaw, I just kind of roughly brought it over and sanded it to make sure there was no real sharp edges on it. Uh, then I'll bring it over to the uh, workbench, throw a couple dowels in there, and 
I'd be able to mount it right to the wall with a backer. So this is what I uh, came up with. I've got my 3D printed uh, bracket that I attached here. I think it fits perfectly and it's got a little bit of flexibility in case I'm pounding things on the wall or on my desk. It, it's, it's definitely pretty strong as well as this. These fit perfectly in there with the three dowels that I put in. I can unplug this and bring it wherever I happen to be working. Mm -hmm. It is waterproof, which is a good thing. Um, and, uh, you know, if you really are worried about ruining the Bluetooth speaker, that was all of like, I think it was under $30. You know, buy another one or put it in a Ziploc bag. But nonetheless, when I get done, I just take it back over and I'll put it in my little docking station I created and plug it. There we go. Uh, now, if I wanted to leave it here and plug it in with an audio jack, these do have external audio jacks. So I could do a, a manual plug-in and leave it plugged in that way. Uh, I just happen to have it set to Bluetooth, which, you know, is pretty stable. But anyways, this is my way I have now a little artificial intelligence um, in the shop for doing conversions, listening to music, and of course now a little investment for under 100 bucks or maybe... Well, hopefully this will inspire you. If you don't get this, maybe the, the Google makes a product now and some people use Siri as well. But uh, anyways, I hope that inspires you and I appreciate you taking the time. I know it was a little bit of a longer video, but I thought you'd kind of get a kick out of how I keep myself entertained and informed while I'm down in the shop without having to stop what I'm doing just by um, voice dictations, voice commands. I can kind of control some of the things that I do in the shop. And as a YouTuber, these are good things. So anyways, thanks for watching. This is Chris from TDW and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Alexa. Are you artificial intelligence? I like to imagine myself a bit like an aurora borealis, a surge of charged multicolored photons dancing through the atmosphere. Mostly, though, I am just Alexa. <laughs> you gotta love her.